heated city council meeting in Patterson last night that lasted until three this morning. Leaders and community members are wondering what's next after the New Jersey Attorney General announced it's taking over the Patterson Police Department. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu is live in Patterson with more. Janice, good morning. Good morning, Charlene. Yeah, yesterday's city council meeting came just a day after the New Jersey Attorney General's announcement. So as you can imagine, there was a lot of uncertainty, a lot of questions, a lot of emotions during the city council meeting yesterday. And like you mentioned, that meeting ran way over into early this morning. Now, uh, members gathered outside of City Hall for a rally yesterday before the start of the meeting. Many in attendance were personally connected to victims of alleged police wrongdoing. They were once again calling for justice and some were hopeful the attorney general's takeover of Patterson Police Department could be the start of a long road to fixing a department that has been riddled with investigations and controversy. The most recent, the deadly police shooting of a community activist, Najee Seabrooks, uh, during a tense standoff less than a month ago. Now, meanwhile, inside a packed room as city council members unpack the news of the takeover. Some city council members say they were kept in the dark about these sweeping changes and admitted they don't exactly know what a state takeover of a police department will even look like. Others even called on Patterson's mayor to resign. A no confidence vote was taken on the mayor, but it failed due to the lack of unanimous approval. The whole idea of tonight is to let people grieve. We have many families that have lost people through police violence. We don't have any details or clarification of what their roles are, so why are we meeting privately? We don't need no more private meetings. There's too much corruption, too many backdoor deals going on. Well, this takeover means Patterson's police chief, who was just sworn in earlier this month, is out. And starting in May, an NYPD veteran by the name of Isa Abazi will be taking over. Line